boys and girls hope you're all doing well so today i have decided to draft in some help to tell today's story so oh hopefully it'll go well so today we are going to have the help of abby and willow abby and willow come here okay here we go Abby and Willow. No, they're very jealous of each other. Calm down, calm down. So Abby and Willow are going to help us to a story. Now, calm down. Now, do you have a dog at home? What is it about dogs that they use a lot? Can you guess? Their nose? So did you know that a dog can smell 100,000 times better than humans? And some breeds smell, can smell things better than other breeds. And the best ones are German Shepherds and Labradors. Now here's another thing about a dog's nose. A dog can smell in 3D and they can smell separately out of each side of their nose. And dogs can breathe in and out at the same time. Good yeah, we? Now, here's another thing about dogs, in particular, Abby and Willow. So Labradors have webbed feet. So if you ever look closely at their feet, Abby won't let me look at her feet. They have little webs in between their toes. And they have double coat, which means they're practically waterproof. I wonder why on earth a dog would need web feet and a waterproof coat. I'm going to show you a wee video to give you a bit of a clue. There you go you can see abby and willow absolutely love the water willow actually likes it better than abby and she's a better swimmer so i'm sure you're wondering why i'm telling you all these things about dogs but you know it reminds me of some verses in the bible which tells us that we are all fearfully and wonderfully made and you know the same goes for everything in the world not just people but all of god's creation imagine everything about this dog god created that for a purpose there's a reason why abby's coat is waterproof and there's a reason why she's got wet feet and just imagine all the thought that has gone into absolutely everything in the world all the flowers all the trees all the animals all the dogs and they're all made differently and the bible also tells us that God's invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and his divine nature, have been perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So God's power can be seen in everything that he's created, including in these dogs who could be very badly behaved. But you know, you might be thinking to yourself, these dogs look quite alike. They're both black. And they're both alike but they're actually very different oh she's laid down they're actually very different that's a bit like us too whenever we look whenever you look at these dogs you see the outside but you don't see what's inside and that's the same with people we can see what we look like outside and that's the way god has created us but what about the inside how should we be on the inside so that's our story today. We're going to talk about some of the things the Bible tells us we should be like in the inside. And I have been observing Abby and Willow for a couple of weeks, and they are going to help us describe some of the things that we should be like inside. And there might be some bad behavior on display. And I just want to say no animals were hurt or harmed 
in the filming of these videos. Thank you. So today, boys and girls, our story comes from Galatians chapter 5. And in Galatians, it tells us about fruit, but it's not the kind of fruit that we eat. It's called the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit is a little like real fruit because they are each special and they're different too. Whenever we ask Jesus to live in us, in our heart, his Spirit stays with us and he will give us some of this special fruit. As we grow and learn more about Jesus, the Spirit will give us more and more fruit and can help us become more like Christ. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. All of these fruits are good to have and the Spirit wants to give them to us. God wants us to try to be good and have the fruit of the Spirit in us. We can try to have all of these things, but it's really hard. The Spirit will give us the kind of gifts he wants us to have. It's hard to do it on our own and we need the Spirit to help us with each of, with each of these things. So just in case you don't know what each of the fruit of the Spirit means, I'm going to try to explain them. So I think the easiest fruit of the Spirit to explain is love. Think of someone that loves you no matter what. You can make mistakes and it doesn't matter what you look like, but they still love you. God loves us too, no matter what. He even loves you more than your parents and he can help us love others the way that we should. The next fruit is joy. Joy is like being very, very happy. It's being happy inside even when things aren't going great. Again, we can try to be joyful, but only God can give us the kind of happiness that makes us joyful. We can't just be joyful on our own. When we think of peace, we usually think of no more fighting or war. That is right, but the peace of the Spirit is a bit different. This is the peace we get when we get to know God really well by reading the Bible, praying and asking questions. If we have this peace, we feel a calmness inside and know that all our sins are confessed and that God forgives us. Look at the video, how calm Abby is. She looks like she's peaceful. Patience is the next one. And I'm sure you know what this means. Have you ever been told to have patience? The patience of God is talking about is for those little things like waiting to open your Christmas presents or being patient to go to the park. But it also means to be patient for answers to prayer that might take years to be answered. Next is kindness. Look at the video. Abby's not very kind here. Kindness should be easy, although sometimes it's not. Is it easy to be kind to someone who has been mean to you or to a beggar on the street? When God gives us this gift, it's more than just being kind to others. He might help us to be kind to someone who really needs it and we're not even aware of it. For example, maybe you feel like you should write a letter or call one of your grandparents. God might be urging you to do that because they are having a bad day and that's exactly what they need to cheer them up. 
Sometimes your kind deed to someone else is all they need to remember that someone special loves them. Being good or goodness is the next fruit of the Spirit. Having the gift of goodness means God can depend on me to be honest, repent of my sins and turn away from bad things. We also need to try to act this way towards others through our actions so they can see the fruit in us. Willow's not being very good in this video, sure she's not. The only true goodness we have is the goodness of God living in us. Faithfulness is the next. And this one might be a little trickier to understand. Being faithful is keeping your promises. Being a loyal friend, even when times get tough. Being trustworthy and doing the things you said you would do. When I think of faithfulness, I think of people who pray for me every single day. When I think of gentleness, I think of holding a brand new baby. For some reason, we think they might break if we don't hold them so carefully. The kind of gentleness God is talking about is similar to this. Look at the picture. Look how gentle the dog is being to the baby. No matter what situation comes up, we're supposed to be gentle. That doesn't mean we shouldn't stick up for ourselves. If someone is doing something you know is wrong, you should still tell an adult or tell him to stop. Just do it in a gentle way like Jesus would. The last fruit is self-control and is a very important one. It means to be in control of what we say and do. Without self-control, we can't do the things we should. To be able to live the way God wants, we have to be in control of the things we do. Just like when a brother or a sister bugs you so you just want to hit them. We know that we have no control. We have to control ourselves and not hit them. Look at the video. Look at the dogs winding up the cows. We know we just can't do whatever we feel like sometimes because that's not right and we'd be punished. So just remember that with all these gifts we need to ha help from God to be able to use the gifts properly. We need to remember that God made us and he is perfect. If you want the fruit of the Spirit, first you need to ask God to live in your heart. And then the more you get to know him, the more fruit or gives, gifts he will help you to have. Well, boys and girls, thanks for listening so well. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing Abby and Willow um, being naughty. Um, don't forget to check out the uh, worksheets on the website. Uh, you can print those off and fill them out. And we'd love to see some of the completed forms. If you want to send pictures of them through to the WhatsApp group, we'd really like to see those. So now we're just going to um, say a word of prayer. So just close your eyes. Dear Father God, we thank you for every young person who has watched today's video. And we thank you for all the homes that they come from. Just pray for their mums and their dads and their brothers and sisters that you would keep them all in your care throughout the course of the week and help them in anything that they need help with, Lord. We just pray, Lord, that we can turn to your word, the Bible, and it shows us how you want us to be. Lord, we just pray that you would help us to be more like you. We just pray, Lord, that you'd help us to show more love to others. We just pray, Lord, that you'd help us to be joyful in everything that we do, Lord. We pray, Lord, too, for peace, um, God's peace in us, and that we can um, show that we are your children, Lord. We pray, too, for patience, Lord, patience with people and everything around us. And we just pray, Lord, that you'd help us to be kind and to show goodness to those in need. Also, Lord, for faithfulness and gentleness and self-control, Lord. We just pray that you'd help us to show your love in everything we do and that when people see how we behave, they would know that we are your children, Lord. Just pray that you be with each and every one of us all week and bring us all safe next week again. Amen. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. Fruit 
of a spirit's not a coconut If you want to be a coconut You might as well hear it You can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana The fruit of the spirit's not a banana You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, 'cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, 'cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, 'cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness.